introduction to plant virology so uh, based on the icr syllabus uh, now we will see what are all the concepts and uh, uh, time schedule that have given by the icr starts from uh, uh, you know uh, historical and importance properties of plant virus detection techniques genetics and uh, plant viruses management of plant viral diseases so based on the syllabus we will see one by one so my name is janas shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so we will start with some uh, basics or a small introduction to the plant virology so plant virology is a field uh, uh, that can deal with the study of viruses and virus like pathogens so this plant viruses or the study of the plant viruses are related viruses comes under the separate branch is called plant virology so plant virology completely deals with plant viruses and their infections management practices and all those things that can be uh, deal by plant virology so now we'll see before entering into the uh, in detail now we'll see what is the definition of a virus what are all the properties that viruses have so now we'll starts with the definition of uh, viruses so virus may be defined as a sub microscopic sub microscopic in the sense uh, we can't able to see in a normal microscope that is called sub microscopic which means we can uh, uh, we can't able to see with a normal microscope so that we can need electron microscope to see the plant virus and it is a acellular acellular in the sense it contains no cells or cellular uh, uh, materials for the normal functioning as like of eukaryotes it doesn't contains any ribosomes it doesn't contains any mesosomes it doesn't contains no uh, uh, cellular materials or protoplasmic materials it doesn't contains any cell or cellular materials that's why it's called as acellular it is a obligate parasite obligate in the sense it is strictly need a living host or a living system so without living system or the living functional system it can't able to survive for their survival and their replication it strictly requires a living host or a living body or living system so it is an intracellular parasites intracellular in the sense it lives in inside the cell it lives inside the cell on the right side we can see these are the small small black color or uh, like the structures which are there inside the cells are viruses that's why it is a intracellular lives inside the cells now we will see some other in depth of uh, uh, about plant viruses so uh, this genome is consist of uh, a nucleic acid the nucleic acid is composed of maybe dna or rna but not both so plant viruses contains only one type of nucleic acid that may be dna or rna but never both so inside the host cell what will happens it overtake the host cell machinery and it forced to produce the components that is required by the plant viruses so what will happen after the virus entering into the plant system or the host system it can overtake the machinery of a host cell after overtaking the machinery of a host cell it forced to produce the components that is required by the plant viruses but not host so after what will happen the virus components can be produced by the host cell machinery so they all assembled in a particular place and they form a virions virions in the cells a complete virus particles is called virions complete virus particles is called virions so this virions what will happen after generating the more and more number of complete virus particles the cell get busted and it releases into the outside so what will happen here this virus can be protected by a protein coat a protein coat which is called capsid which is called capsid so virus mainly consist of two components the first one is a nucleic acid that may be dna or rna and the second one is protein coat protein coat which only protects the nucleic acid which is present inside the uh, uh, protein coat let me tell you which is present inside the cell so let me show you something uh, i'll show you let us consider it is a plant virus it is called nucleic acid it is nucleic acid which is a infectious material and this one is outside the ring call is protein coat protein coat protein coat here the protein coat protect the nucleic acid which is present inside the 
which is present inside this sorry inside so this nucleic acid is the infectious material which was protected by a a layer or you know a protective coat is called protein coat that is called capsid so a complete uh, I mean this protective coat or protein coat is called capsid so virion in the cells a complete or matured virus particles is called virions these are the some important uh, terms the term virus is derived from latin word which means poison or venom or slimy liquid so normally the virus is a latin word the meaning of latin uh, virus is poison or venom or slimy liquid moreover the term virus was coined by bijernik which is considered as father of plant virology he is bijernik he is considered as father of plant virology so few, we will see one more definition uh, that was uh, given by the famous scientist andrew laff so a virus is a virus that may be neither in a living organism or non living chemical but uh, that exists between and betwixt in the sense so virus contains both the properties of uh, living and non living nature that exist in between and between betwixt that was given by the famous scientist andrew loff he is andrew loff and he is a bijernik who coined the term virus virus means poison venom or slimy liquid so bijernik is largely considered as father of plant virology